Hey everybody, Tim Anderson here, aka Renfell. As the thumbnail and the title suggest, I have a brand new adventure starting in a game called Vanguard Saga of Heroes. Now some of you might already know this game, and if you're like me, you have very fond memories of this game. I am going to be doing a journey through Vanguard Saga of Heroes. We're going to be going through and exploring the races, the classes, the starting zones, and a bunch of lore behind this game. Because for me, this was the best MMORPG that has ever launched. Yes, I said that right. The best MMORPG for me. I was involved from the alpha from the time there was 12 people online all the way up to the time it launched. And unfortunately, didn't successfully have a very long life. Now, it's not an actual live game anymore. It was Sunset and now it only exists in the form of an emulator. Now I've played the emulator in the past about four years ago and I've heard that a lot of really good progress has been made which has had me wanting to do this for quite some time. So I kind of may have already created a character here, a human ranger called Renfell Fuwar of course, and we're going to be adventuring throughout the world of Talon and the world of Vanguard Saga of Heroes over the coming months. Now, I'm not doing a guild for this at the moment. It's just me. This was something, it's been in conversations during our multi-stream events. Um, I know the Pantheon Plus crew is playing this. Sparrow's mentioned it a few times. We've talked about doing a multi-stream adventure here in Vanguard at some point, maybe this fall or this winter, after we've gotten all the things that we're doing currently uh, out of our system so it won't be happening anytime soon but in the meantime um, you've all inspired me because the month of June was my first month kind of going full-time as a content creator or attempting to go full-time as a content creator and I had a lot of people who supported me um, we did the cat fundraiser we blew past our initial goal then our stretch goal first one and we're going towards our second stretch goal and the month's not quite over yet so I got a lot of support from people who really are appreciating the content that I'm creating here on YouTube so thank you so much for your support this is one of those things that I wanted to add to the rotation of content that I'm regularly covering on a regular basis so I'm gonna be going through with this character and exploring the village of Tersh and this starting area and some other stuff um, we're also going to be exploring the other starting areas and other races and class combos and all this good stuff throughout this video series. Probably once or twice a week. It won't be an all the time thing. I will probably stream this game at some point, maybe once or twice a month. It's not going to be a regular thing. This is going to be a back burner project that happens, as I said, once a week or so, you'll get a new video. Once every new once in a while, I'll probably stream this game for a little bit um, as I go through storyline and stuff. But in the meantime, I just wanted to show everybody and do the introduction video for this and let you know that this is coming down the pipeline because um, it is a cool game. I have not played in a few years. The last time I played, we were able to get up to around a level 20 across the board. I have heard that since then, you can play up to around level 30 across the board. And here's the cool thing. When I played last time, we were only able to play on the starting village. And today when I created a character, I had the option to not start on the starting island. I was able to go to my home village of Tersh. And now I'm really curious, do they have the uh, actual starting villages, the original villages for all of the races or just the humans? Like, Because the last time I played, like I said, everybody got shuffled into the starter aisle, which was where Sony had people going. So I'm very intrigued now because this is starting to feel much like it was back at launch so if you like this and you want to follow along with the adventures and you want more of this as i continue to explore this game and other games this is the point where i get to say hey like subscribe hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update and don't forget to join the discord because i always do an everyone call out when i'm about to go live you could also support me as a content creator which is awesome by hitting that super thanks button down below on these uploaded videos you can also join our adventurers guild which is that option down to the bottom right where you can join as a member of the channel for $2.99 a month so you can pick your own version with super thanks pick your own amount you can join as a member of the adventurers guild there's a lot of cool perks and anytime I'm live which is every single day playing different types of MMORPGs with our community you could do super chats and stickers on the live videos as a way of saying thanks there's also a patreon page for that world behind me patreon.com forward slash wandering hermits where my wife and my brother and I are creating the world of the weave in the void which is a point and click adventure game a fifth edition tabletop setting and a novel a book series so you can chuckle that stuff out and i know a lot of you are double dipping here as members of youtube as well as members over on patreon i love you all thank you so much for the support shout out to all of you um let's go take a quick look around um we're not going to do any adventuring in this particular video because i want to save that for the actual uh starting 
a video for the village of Tersh as we go through some of the initial content. Maybe a live stream to kick things off. We'll see. Um, I don't know what I need to do to optimize the performance here yet. So um, we just have some very basic settings to set up. But I know the village of Tersh is just beyond. We just lo we just zoned in here. And this is the human starting area. And beyond those trees, you can kind of see the buildings that are, make up the settlement there. And here, we're on top of a hill. There's a little farm down to the left. A couple of farms, actually. Some trees I can harvest. There's the castle over there to the right. Over here uh, are some... I think that's the monastery? Somewhere over here, I think that's a monastery. This is uh, used to be a mage tower, which has obviously exploded. Um, we've had some crazy stuff happening. We're about to find out all the things that are going wrong with the world here. Um, and in this area, when we start running the quests, um, it's looking good, honestly, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm, I'm very, 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 I'm so hyped. I'm so excited. Like, this has been something we've been talking about for several months now. And when I looked at how well we did for the month of June and how much everybody supported my first month of attempting to go full-time as a content creator, I said, you know what? I want to try to do the most I can for the month of July, and this is something I've been really wanting to add to my rotation for a long time. So hopefully, hopefully, this is something that will inspire um, some more of you to want to get involved with what we've got going on. Let's peek my head around the corner. There may be some hiccups, um, hitches. I just want to take a look. Ooh, there's some wolves. Ah, ah, I'm scared now. Oh, look around. This is so cool. So one of the things I want to take a quick look at. Oh, we got some music. We just got Trish Village as I, as I zone back over. You get starter gear now, um, just basic stuff, this Helm of the Hero, Tunic of the Hero, this Hero Armor set, um, and there's so much about this game that I'd forgotten about, like you're, you have your um, points which you could spend, um, you have all the different gear sets, like your adventuring gear, your crafting gear, um, adventuring gear, crafting gear, harvesting gear, diplomacy gear, and then your mount can actually have gear as well, which is so cool. Oh, it's just mm, so much I'd forgotten about this game. I'm really looking forward to doing this with everybody. Um, I'm going to be doing voiceovers for this game. So as we get into this and we start playing, nice weather, eh? and you see me uh, interacting with these, we're going to be doing voiceovers for all of these quests. Uh, so if you like the kind of content that I produce for Lord of the Rings Online, where I do different voiceovers for all of the different uh, sessions where I'm narrating everything and different characters, we're going to be doing that here. So this is going to be a roleplay heavy you know solo adventure um if people want to join me they totally can but again i'm not planning on spinning up a guild at this point in time um we could but we got enough stuff going on with everquest lord of the rings online we got uh, p99 we've got the world of warcraft we've got the uh, all this other stuff so there's just way too much going on for me to do anything more than just play this by myself but if there's those of you out there who want to come hang out when I'm doing live streams and stuff, you're totally welcome to do so. I'll be sure to announce those. Um, and we'll be exploring this. Now, at some point in time, not this year, it will be next year at the earliest, we will be swinging back around and doing Vanguard Saga of Heroes as a community game with our guild. So at some point, we're going to make that a reality. So hopefully, you'll stick around for the long term so you can be a part of that as well. In any case... Hopefully you're here for the long haul and ready for the journey as I explore the world of Talon and Vanguard Saga of Heroes, my favorite MMORPG of all time. I can't wait to share and show more. Thanks so much, everybody. See you next time.